Hi everyone, I'm Teacher Andrew. Here I am, in a canoe, in my yard, and I'd like to share one of my favorite, lesser known books with you today. It's called Ra. And when I read it to my class, I do this thing where I count on my fingers, one, two, three, and then everyone roars with me. So as you watch along, if you'd like to do that, I'm gonna do the hand signals and roar myself, and you might roar along with me. It is by Barbara Jus, and it is illustrated by Jan Jut. Roar. It says to all the brave kids in the world. One dark and snarly night when Papa was away and Liam was a snuggled in, he heard the forest crack and snap. His heart thumped. Danger. What could Liam do? He was just a boy, thump thump, too small to fight off forest things. He thought and thought a little more, and suddenly he knew. I'll build a fort, put in provisions, sticks and string and double cake, and then growl a warning. Rawr! Mama shook her finger. Use your inside voice. No sticks in here and no double cake. The forest grew deeper dark. The night grew long. The clock tick-tocked to bedtime. Mama tucked in Liam tight and kissed him on the cheek. Good night. He rubbed it off. Mama opened windows wide, turned off the lights, crawled into bed and drifted off to sleep. Tick-tock, the clock. Snip-snap, the cracks. And then... Rawr! Liam rushed to Mama, called her name, Mama, but she was snore asleep. Oh no, Mama was delicious to forest things and he was just a boy, thump thump. What could Liam do? He thought and thought a little more and suddenly he knew. I'll pack my shovel, sticks and string, double kick, and then creep along on furry feet, eyes sharp for... Rawr! There, Bear clacked his teeth, raised his snout, and sniffed for sleeping Mama. What could Liam do? He was just a boy, Thump Thump. He thought for just a little bit, and suddenly he knew. I'll dig a hole, spread sticks on top, and tie a string to a bell on my window sill. Liam scarcely breathed. He waited, waited, waited for the bell to ring. Bear, he rumbled in the hole, slashed moonlight bloody with his claws and bellowed. Rawr! Now what? Liam shivered. He was just a boy, thump thump. But Bear was too big, too strong and fine to stay inside a hole forever. And out! Bear would eat up Mama. Liam thought and thought, and suddenly he knew. Bear ate the cake, no lick of frosting left. He's hungry. So I, a boy, a clever boy, will search the woods, the up and down, the all around, to find food for Bear, a bush. Sweet berries ripe and red. Liam clawed them off the branches, gobbled some, and took the rest to Bear, who gulped them down. One, two, three. Rawr! Now what? Liam thought, but not for long. Thump, thump. Then Liam knew. A bear, so big and fine, needs more. 
So Liam wove a basket, stuffed it full, and dragged it back to Bear, who ate the berries up. Roar! More? A boy, Thump Thump, a clever boy, knows this about a bear. A bear needs fish to eat. Liam tied his string to a stick, hooked a worm to a thorn, and cast into the deep down lake. He snared a silverfish, delicious to a bear. Bear smacked his lips and snatched the fish. Gulp. Ah, belly full, his ears flopped soft. Bear curled into a ball to snooze. <laughs> now what? Now what do boys so clever, brave, and true with hearts a thump for bear so fine and mama sleeping in the night, what do they do? Liam knew. Bear was hungry. Now he's not. Mama will be safe. I'll fix a way for Bear to climb out to be a bear. And I, a boy so brave and true, I'm tired too. Now back at home, Liam slippered off his furry feet and curled into his cave to sleep. imagination. All that's going on. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.